from FX Empire, this is Chris taking a look at the Australian dollar, US dollar weekly time frame. You can see that we have broken down pretty drastically during the week, and that was during the flash crash after Tim Cook suggested that Apple's problems lie within the Chinese economy. That obviously hurts the Aussie. It's highly levered to China, and I think that will continue to be a drag. But the candlestick is rather impressive. I think if we can break above the top of these two candlesticks on the weekly chart, we'll probably go looking towards 72.50. Might get a nice sharp bounce. The daily chart, though, a little less impressive. We're literally just stopping there, and there should be more of a risk-on move after an addition of 300,000 U.S. jobs. I know it seems counterintuitive, but that typically helps the Aussie against the dollar when it's U.S. positive because risk-on. The Chinese and the Americans are meeting here uh, shortly, so maybe this is the market just trying to sell it, settle itself ahead of time. If we get good news out of that, we could get that pop that I'm talking about. If we can break above the 50 moving average on the uh, weekly chart, and this is a remnant for my daily because truly I use 52 on the weekly chart, uh, which will be just slightly higher, uh, then I think we're probably looking at a move towards 75 we need a lot of good things to happen for that to, to, to truly take off, but we may get a, a, a short pop, but that should be another opportunity to sell. I, I'm not looking for a major move. I think this is more or less a shorter-term trader's market right now.